What is your name? Uh, oh, we started already? No, no, we'll wait. Okay. <laughs> Maha, my name is Maha. Your name is Maha? Yeah. M-A-H-A? Yes, M-A-H-A. Okay, Maha. I'm Anthony. Oh, nice v to meet you. Very nice to meet you too. So I've started a little okay. clock here. I want to try to keep it to five minutes, but if it goes longer, that's fine. All right. Um, Maha, obviously you're Muslim. Yes. Where are you on the strength of your belief? If 0% was I don't believe and 100% was I absolutely believe, where would you put yourself? Um, I guess I would put myself, wait, 0 to 100? Yeah, 0 is I don't believe in Allah and 100% was I absolutely believe in Allah. I would say 100%. Wow, that's way up there. <laughs> what is putting you so high on the scale? How are you getting to the 100% mark? Um. Honestly, just true belief in him, and I guess I kind of experienced like things in my life, like to where, like I had nothing, and when I turned to him, he was there for me. You know. Okay. So, like in every aspect of my life, I know that he's always gonna be there, and he's always gonna help me out, and he's, hmm. you know, and anything I do, I I trust in him completely to where like I know that anything that he does for me is going to be the best for me you know so. I see how would how did you know or learn about this God rather than all the other you know there's like lots of other guys that are out there yeah. there's Christian God there's the Hindu gods yeah I know that you're saying that when you go through hard times you're turning to this God yeah how did you know to turn to that God in the first place I guess like I was brought up Muslim, you know, okay. I, uh, like I was born Muslim um, and my, my mom has been a really big like, um, like someone who brought me to Allah, um, mm. but I've researched about other, I've researched about other religions, you know, especially um, my high school time, um, I, did, I did like projects on how religion um, psychology and that was actually my graduating like that's what I did my project on like interesting um, what was the conclusion what did you arrive at there well, the thing is that like whatever you're raised with that's what you believe in you know like hmm. most people however they like grow up that's what normally they believe in and yet here like, you are being raised as Muslim yeah and you're still a Muslim yeah where, where, where is that any different? How is your story different so than the I, typical one? So there was a time where like I didn't really, I didn't really believe in a lot. I didn't really, I didn't really like, it didn't really interest me, you know? Mm -hmm. So I started researching other religions. I researched Christianity, Judaism, and honestly, none of them made sense to me. N nothing added up. Um, and I even like, like uh, a lot of my friends were Catholic and so they would tell me like you know this this but I would I never got the concept of you know Jesus being God you know or okay. that type of stuff so like whatever like this Islam made a lot of sense because it's just you're praying to one Allah and he's always there and you know like there's no there's no other one you know, God is not divided into different, you know, sects or anything, you know, so okay. it's just one. Just so I understand, are you saying that as you were going through and looking at all these different other religions, they didn't make sense? Was it sort of a process of elimination that you started just checking these th things off the list, these other different religions, and you ended up with the same yeah. one that you were raised with? Yeah, like, yeah, kind of like, okay. you know, kind of like yeah. that, yeah. Um, like... Obviously, when you're when you're not, you know, like you don't believe that much, you know, like you don't believe in something that much, you start looking for other things, you know, like. And I was I was looking, and honestly, I was never like this, you know. I never I was I never even like thought about religion that much. Yes, my mom would like my mom raised us to Muslim. Like she would be like, oh, you know, recite this or uh -huh. you know, blah blah blah. But it was all in Arabic. Okay. You know, and I, I'm, I'm Pakistani. Um, well, my mom would read it, read the translation, blah blah blah. But I was never really like, I never like understood it well. Yeah. well but okay. In my mind, something just 
like I always had like you know something to lean back on. Are, are, are you saying that I know you're you're at the hundred percent mark now? Yeah, yeah. There was we're at five minutes. Okay. Was there a point where you were at fifty percent, at zero percent? Yeah. Like I, how recently did you become firm on the hundred percent? Okay, so middle school, like mm -hmm. um, seventh and eighth grade ish. Seventh eighth grade ish. Okay. Like maybe it was fifty percent, so like seventy five percent, like that. You know, okay. like I believed, but. Yeah, and I trusted in God, but like, yeah, again, I would just question myself. And I guess mm -hmm. it's kind of the age, like the teenage age, you all, you question yourself a lot, you know? Right. Um, but then when I went to high school, and I guess, yeah, when I went to high school, like uh, 11, 12th grade, um, that's when I started researching and, you know, things started making sense. Like, my belief became more like... It started making more sense to me. Okay. You know, like, what, what was it about Islam in particular that made the most sense for you to get to the point to say, you know what, I can't be at 50% anymore. I'm going all the way to the 100%, and, and I know that I was raised in it, but this goes far beyond that. Yeah. Like, what was the thing that convinced you that what you're believing in is actually true to get you to the 100% mark? Um, well, okay, I, I guess... I guess other things kind of influenced a little bit too. Like I was just going through a really hard time because of my health. And um, you know, like everybody would just be like, turn back to God, turn back to God, turn back to God, you know? And once I actually did, like I prayed, you know, I listened to the Quran, like rec recitation. Okay. I, like the translations, everything. Um, like I just became closer to uh, like Allah and I started loving Allah because I knew that he was there for me when no one else was you know mm. and when you love someone so much you just want to please them you know with at anything that you can do you know so um, when I started looking into my religion more I, I found out the hijab I found out about like um, you know praying like out of just like what is mandatory and stuff like that so then I started you know I started wearing hijab well I used to wear the hijab before but I okay. you know I was just wearing it just to wear it I got you you know you didn't I, really you weren't so tied to the belief of it at that yeah, point yeah. so you were sick and then you, you really started studying it yeah I'm gonna kind of uh, maybe no, no, it's okay. correct me if I'm wrong yeah. here I don't want to put words in your mouth no, no. so you were going through some hard times you were sick you started turning to this one book and it really started changing your views on things yeah. is that right yeah. what not that we would want you to get sick and go back in time yeah, and have yeah. that happen but yeah. let's say that you were being raised in a completely different family that yeah. were Hindus mm -hmm. they were convinced that Krishna is the one true God mm -hmm. and you were being sick and you were you weren't sure where to turn and you you know you dusted off that book that was on your shelf and you started really investigating about Krishna yeah do I think do, that I would... Do you think that you would have more gravitated towards that God rather than this God that you're following now? Um, I don't know. That's that's a really hard question to answer, but um, I don't know. That is something good to think about. Like, I don't know. I, I, I mentioned before that I was studying, you know, maybe that... You, you would have had that book on your shelf probably. Mm -hmm. Do you think if you just, just by chance, had grabbed that other book and, and really started committing yourself to Krishna, yeah. do you think that you might be out here representing a booth for a Hindu? I don't think so, because, uh, like, polytheistic religions never made sense to me anyways, you know? Like, Is that it for you? The, the religion has to make sense in some way? Yeah. For you to I accept mean, it? Honestly, if it doesn't if it doesn't make sense to you, then you're probably not going to believe, believe in it as truly. You know, when you know that everything is, you know, like, like, I don't know, when you know that things are like making sense in your head, then mm -hmm. you have more belief in it, I guess. Could you conceive of a possibility that, you know, you're, you're, you're kind of you're sick, things aren't going well, you reach for this book, you start learning about Krishna, and you really decide to open yourself up to it and really say, you know what? this one really does make a lot of sense and it's been around for a long time and I, I could see this God working in my life. Yeah. 
is it possible, all things being the same, except this one thing where you started investigating it and finding that something was actually true in a completely different religion? Yeah. Um, could, could you find yourself gravitating towards a different God? I don't, I actually don't know. I, d I don't know if that would be the case. I don't know. But I'm glad that I did it because I love Islam now and I love the way, the way everything is and honestly I, I have like 45 minute long conversations with people that are trying to convince me to convert to Christianity you know and you know the thing is that when they talk to me I'm just like I don't I really don't feel like you're even listening to yourself you know because it just mm -hmm. does it add up and just to be clear I'm not coming from that angle at all like I'm sincerely interested in how you arrived at your belief I truly want to understand it. Yeah. Anything that I can do to, to make you more comfortable and more honest and open so that I can better understand it, I would like to try to do that. Okay? Um, and if there's anything that I can say to, to be honest or demonstrate that I'm trying to be sincere with you, I would like to, to reciprocate. Mm -hmm. I think it's very important that, especially on a topic like this, that we be honest with with each other. Yeah, I think honesty yeah. is, is really so important. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, like I don't really tell people that, but I was never I wasn't religious before. You know, I didn't really care. Like, you know, and then and then like after going through some things, now like I trust in Allah. Like, mm -hmm. you know, with my life, you know, like I know that whatever He's gonna do, it's gonna be the best for me. Let's, let's say that there's a Hindu walking by and she just happens to get her, you know, she hears, you know, that we're talking about Krishna. And she says, I was, I was really raised in a Hindu environment and I was taught Krishna. I didn't really believe in it, but then I was sick and I grabbed this book and I really started investigating it. And it makes tremendous sense to me. I get a feeling of peace whenever I really study it. Yeah. And I'm 100% sure that it's true. Yeah. When I would look at her with Krishna and you with, with uh, Allah, I would have no idea of who to decide who might be more correct in the belief. Mm -hmm. is, is there a tool that I might use to help determine that? Because I would want to believe, I, I would want to follow the person that was more correct. Because mm -hmm. I want to believe true things. Yeah. What might you say to that woman who's 100% convinced that Krishna is the right God? Even though we might both agree that she has a right to believe in that, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. give me a tool that I can use to decide who's more correct of the two of you? Um, well, I, I don't know. I don't know, actually. To tell her to... Even just honestly, to tell me. Let, let's say that she's just as convinced. She looks at me just like... She, she's sincere, she's honest, she really believes it. As much as you believe it. I want to follow the right person. I want to follow the person that's more correct. Yeah. Um. Honestly, nothing's coming to my head. I don't know. Um. Huh. I don't know. I'm like. I have to think about this. <laughs> to tell you to believe in a lot, like. We can even say, what might you suggest? Yeah. To me to convince me that she's mistaken and you are correct. Okay, well, I don't know, with, the, with, with like a Hindu, it's different. Like, you can't really, like, you know, well, I didn't really study uh, Hinduism, Buddhism, all that. I studied more Christianity, Judaism, and Islam because I was never interested in uh, polytheistic. Like, I don't, I, don't, I don't believe that there could be multiple gods. If you haven't studied it as, as attentively as you have mm -hmm. those other religions, is it possible that she could be correct and you could be mistaken? No, because... It's not possible? It's not possible because, like, I just don't understand how I just don't understand how it would work, like, having so many gods, like, you know, like, like, who do you turn to, 
for like a specific mm -hmm. thing, you know, and... Let's just say that she, she pipes up and just gives five great reasons why believing in multiple gods is, far, is completely superior than to believing in just one god. Yeah. Okay, well, the thing I believe is that, like, the thing I believe is that if there are, like, so many gods, then, like, we're all, like, we're, like, if, if there's five people that become the president of the United States, you know, like, are they're they're all gonna have different views. They're all gonna have different ideas, and they're all gonna like collide with each other. You know, <laughs> okay. they're all gonna want to do different things with this country. Mm -hmm. You know, so when there's like five different gods, there's also like five. Okay. Different well, from my understanding, Krishna is like the main god. Like all the other Hindu gods fall under Krishna, and she's all she's all with Krishna. Mm -hmm. Krishna is the main god. It's the one and only god. There are lesser gods, right? She's convinced. She's 100% on that scale. Mm -hmm. I want to follow the person that's the most correct. Yeah. Is there anything that you might be able to tell me to illustrate that maybe you're more correct than she? Well, okay, so... So... Um, these are really troubling questions. <laughs> Um, how would I, how would I tell her that she's wrong? Honestly, I don't, I can't think of anything right now. I can't, like, I don't know. I can't think of anything. I will try to be out here tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And if you can think about it tonight. Yeah. Can I, like... Redo it. We. I'll tell you what. I'll give you another chance. We'll we'll meet again, and we can have another conversation. Mm -hmm. But I would love it if we can build off of this existing one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Would that be cool? Yeah, yeah, and I'll um, give you. You know, you'll get complete say, and you can set me straight. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, if you want to phone a friend, you phone a friend. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Because this is not like a gotcha situation. Mm -hmm. Like I said before. Yeah. I want to have an open and honest conversation. Yeah. To understand how people like yourself, or Christians, or Hindus, I want to understand how they arrived at their belief. Okay. And, and if I could help you reflect on how you arrived at the belief, and you come away thinking about it a little bit more than maybe you have before, yeah. I would consider that a success. All right, okay. Okay? Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. It's, it's all cool on this end, and I... And yeah, I, yeah. Okay. Yeah, l uh, let me just think about these questions, like, and yeah. I'll, yeah, maybe I can redo them. We'll definitely meet again. I'm going to try to be out here again tomorrow right, and then okay. probably even Thursday okay, awesome. and maybe Friday because I think you guys are going to have a booth Friday too. I don't know. That's what the, someone was saying. Oh, he's climbing a tree. Oh boy. I should get this on camera. <laughs> All right. You've been, right, you've been really you. great. Thank, thank you. you. There's no wrong answer and you did I great. Just, yeah. Seriously, you did, you did wonderful. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I don't think I did great. But.